Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and today I'm going to show you how to back up to Azure or Azure using your NAS drive. First of all, log into portal.azure.com and create a storage blob. Once you've logged into the Azure portal, click on resources, then click on create resources. At this stage, we are going to create a storage resource for us to use with our NAS drive. So click on storage and then storage account. At this point, we now need to give it a few basic details, such as a name, whether or not it's going to belong to a resource group, and the location that it's going to be hosted in. This is pretty cool because you can actually change it to somewhere nearer to you, meaning that latency and response times will go way down. Once you're happy with the names and the configuration, click on Create. You'll then see the deployment progression on the dashboard. At this point, Azure is trying to create the storage for you, and after a few minutes, you'll be good to go with your storage account. Now we need to get the key of this storage account and link it with your NAS drive. To get the key for the storage that we've just made, all we need to do is go back to storage under all resources, then click on your resource, in this case, Ads Productions 123, then click on Access Keys. If you then copy this key, this key that we're going to use is your unique identifier. And this is what we use with any third-party devices, applications, whatever, to reference this exact storage account. Switching back to the NAS drive now, you have to make sure you have the program Hyper Backup downloaded, and then you wanna go ahead and run it. You might have different applications depending on the NAS drive you're using, but in this case, I'm using Synology with Hyper Backup. When you launch it, click on Backup to Cloud through Azure, and then walk through the steps. You can choose the directory it's going to save to, the schedule task time, anything you want. But when it asks you for the key, this is where you paste in that key we've just copied from the access keys section of the Azure portal. Paste the key in, and then it will recognize this is actually an Azure storage account. And then it will say, okay, whereabouts within that storage do you want to save it? Select the shares that you want to back up to Azure and hit backup. And that's basically all there is to backing up to Azure with your NAS drive. You can also press restore and reference the backups that you've done previously on Azure. So not only can you backup directly to the cloud, you can also restore directly from the backups that you've done to the cloud. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with a tutorial on how to backup to the cloud, more specifically Azure using your NAS drive. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get to them. Thanks again.